part B. Now we have part C. Determine the rate at which energy is being converted into internal energy in resistor 1. <coughs> Determine the rate at which energy is being converted into internal energy in resistor 1. What are we talking about, George? The rate at which energy is being converted into internal energy. What is that? That is power, right? Watts, joules per second. It is the rate, the number of amount of joules per second that are being converted to internal energy. So we need all three equations for power, electric power. Clay, can you give me all three equations for electric power? Um, power equals current squared times resistance, and power equals electric potential difference squared divided by resistance, and power equals current times uh, is it electric potential difference? It is. And then we're talking about in resistor 1, so I'm going to put subscripts of 1's on everything. We have the resistance of resistor 1, so we need either the current through resistor 1 or we need the electric potential difference across resistor 1 in order to figure out the power converted into energy and the rate at which energy is being converted into internal energy in resistor 1. Next, what are we going to do? We've got to get to the electric potential difference across resistor 1 or the current through resistor 1. Who has an idea for What's that? Well, where the equivalent resistance is defined by the current the channel for which times, I mean, divide by the What's the original equation we're going to use? V equals IR. V equals IR. Resistance. <laughs> Give me the whole thing. Delta V. Delta V, which stands for? What kind of potential difference? Of the channel battery. This is not just called potential difference. You're missing one word. Electrically. Electric potential difference. I know. I'm a stickler for using all the words. The electric potential difference. We're going to start with the general equation, then I'm going to put subscripts on. So the electric potential difference equals? Current. Times resistance. And what you did is you solved that equation for current, right? Current is equal to the electric potential difference divided by the resistance. Now. Asaf noticed that we have the electric potential difference across the battery, the terminal voltage, which means we can put in other subscripts for current and resistance. What other subscripts are we going to use if we're talking about the terminal voltage? George? The equivalent resistance. And for the current? Total current. Technically, it's the, the terminal current. You can think of it as the total current as well. It is the current delivered by the battery. So that would be the current delivered by the battery that goes through the equivalent resistance. So we can figure that out. Let's figure out how that helps us. Uh, the current through the battery, so we have the potential difference is 24, the terminal voltage. The equivalent resistance we got to be 3.64706. The current delivered by the battery is, please? 6.5806. Six point five eight zero six one, correct? Um, I got something different. Uh oh. What what else did we get? <coughs> give me give me another one. Fourteen point five seven five. Fourteen? Oh, that's twenty four divided by three yeah. that's actually fourteen. Yeah. Can I read the pen account for my show this one please? That's right. Six point five eight zero six one? Four. Uh oh. If we use that, we're Fair enough. It comes down to the number of sig figs. I, we're just, okay. I'll use the four. I don't know. It seems fine to me. In the end, it'll round because we're carrying six figs. Six and sig figs, it's fine. So the current delivered by the battery then is 6.58, et cetera, amps. This is helpful because it is also what other current? So it's here where we start to utilize the circuit diagrams that we've drawn. We go back one circuit diagram. This current is also equal to what current? What's that? Resistance one, two, three, four, five. Resistance. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm a stickler for using the right terminology. The current delivered by the battery is also equal to what? 
current delivered by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The current passing through one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven, and no, 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 you're going too far. What else is it equal to? Looking at it's also equal to um, the current of the uh, current eight. The current through resistor eight. Okay. So just going one step at a time. We had the current through the equivalent resistor. Well, that's also the current through resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the current through resistor eight. We're not going to use the current through resistor eight because that's really irrelevant for what we're trying to find because we're trying to get to the power dissipated by resistor one. Therefore, we want to use the one with the subscripts in it. Current. With, that has the one in it. So current one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What can we use the current through resistor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to find? Mike? The current through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equals. Yes, what can we use that to find? Oh, on the current through one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven. Uh, actually, I know that the current going through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is going to equal to the current going through one, two, three, four, five, plus the current going through six, seven. But we're not going to write that down right now because we don't know either of those two currents. So that's not going to really help us out because it gives us two unknowns that we do not know. So there's a different route we need to take. That's not necessarily wrong, but it's not going to get us any further down the road. Um, Sam? We can um, find the potential of uh, yeah, the electric potential difference of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Because it's equal to? Um, the potential difference of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't say that. <laughs> you did, actually. I said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and 7. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you didn't add the end potential difference? Well, I said that the first thing. <laughs> I, I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing here? What am I putting right there? Um, equals 6 and 7. I agree with that, but we haven't figured it out yet. A set. I want to find the resistance, I mean, the current of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the resistance of that. Going back to just potential difference equals electric potential difference equals current times resistance, we have current 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have that current just got to be 6.58064 times resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which was the 1.6. 4706. The electric potential difference across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is equal to? pointed out, this is also equal to, if we go back a step, the electric potential difference across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is going to be the same as the electric potential difference across resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and resistor 6, 7. So this is the electric potential difference across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the electric potential difference of across 6, 7. Okay, now we have the electric potential difference across resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What are we going to use that to find? Ian. The electric potential difference of resistor 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, we have the electric potential difference of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, eventually, yes, but not directly. What else do we have with regards to uh, electric potential or the resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? What else do we know about resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? Asaf, we need other people to drive the boat sometimes. We're in a boat today. I didn't realize that. It must have been raining last night. All right. <coughs> we know the resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we can find the current through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That current, using current equals electric potential difference times resistance, is just going to be the current of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times the electric potential difference, or I'm sorry, is equal to the electric potential difference of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by the resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The electric potential difference is 10.83871 divided by the resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which was 2.84.
So I need more, 3.8, 7097, and that's in amps. The current through resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is also Claire equal to. Going back one, we know it's equal to the current going through one, two, three, four, and the current going through five because they are in series. So this is the current going through one, two, three, four, also equal to the current going through five. Now we have the current going through one, two, three, four. Tristan, what are we going to use the current through going through one, two, three, four to find? Um, uh, electric potential difference. Of? Um, one, two, three, four. Of resistor one, two, three, four. That's going to be equal to what, Tristan? Okay, Grimmer, how far out? Uh, the electric current of 1, 2, 3, 4 times the resistance of 1, 2, 3, 4. We have both of those numbers. The current through 1, 2, 3, 4 was a 3.87097 multiplied by the resistance of resistor 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 0 0.8. We have the electric potential difference across resistor 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to? Uh, 3.096775. Okay. That's in volts. This is the electric potential difference across resistor 1, 2, 3, 4. Hunter, this is also equal to what? Go back one. So we just figured out the electric potential difference across one, two, three, four. So the goal here is to go back one circuit diagram. So if we take and go back from here, we get to right here. So this electric potential difference across one, two, three, four, Hunter is equal to? Uh, He's not seeing it. Ian, help him out. Uh, Okay, hold up. Not the resistance of 1, 2. The resistor 1, 2. What about resistor 1, 2? Current passing through. Not current passing through one resistor 1, 2, but forest? Oh, man, I don't know. Hunter! <laughs> We're coming back to you. Um, I can really pick up the electric potential difference. You're welcome. Of? This is equal to the electric potential difference <coughs> across so one, two. It's also equal to what, Forrest? Sorry, Mr. Palmer, I didn't catch your question. I'm Please sorry to hear that. that. We just figured out the electric potential difference across one, two, three, four is also equal to the electric potential difference across resistor one, two. What else is it equal to? Uh, the electric potential difference of R3. Is, yes, and? Which is equal to the electric potential difference of R resistor four. Good. Notice because these three are in parallel, they're all going to say they have the same electric potential difference, and that is going to be the electric potential difference across one, two, three, four. Don't you worry, Juliana, you are up next. What can we use the electric potential difference across one, two to figure out? The electrical potential difference one. Uh, we could, but we don't actually have to. We could use it, but um, it would take two steps to get there. What can we figure out rather than the electric potential difference across resistor one? What should be the next step? A set. Uh, the current of one two. How are we going to figure out the current through resistor one two? We have the electric potential difference. We just got it. Three point zero nine six seven eight divided by the resistance of one two, which I believe was just four. Yes. So we have the current through resistor equivalent resistor one two is equal to zero point seven seven four one nine three. This is helpful because it's also Austin the current through what? Resistor one. And. Resistor two. We now have everything we need to get to the answer because <coughs> we have the current through resistor one and the resistance of resistor one. So power in 
Resistor 1 is going to be current 1 squared plus resistance 1. 0 0.774193 squared multiplied by the resistance of resistor 1, which is 2. 2.59. I got 1.198. I'm sorry, 1.1987. 1. 1. With sig fix, the power dissipated by resistor 1, 1. 1.20 watts. In other words, resistor 1 is taking 1.2 joules of energy every second and converting it from electrical potential energy into internal energy or heat. Let's take a moment and walk through this problem just as a general outline. We started by translating all the words into a circuit diagram using what we knew about the series and parallel. Then we looked at it and figured out the numbers for each of the equivalent resistors, just talking about two things that are in series or three things that are in parallel, things like that, and drawing the circuit diagrams for each step. Then we got the equivalent resistance. Then we used this equation, electric potential difference equals current times resistance. Notice, we used that over and over again, walking backwards through our circuit diagrams. We started with this one, then we moved to this one, and so on and so forth. Do you see the importance of the circuit diagrams in understanding what you're doing? Good. 